Hello, this is Skixmatics from Skixie's Greater Shows, and we are putting on the Bunny Feet uh, Festival Extravaganza uh, Vaudeville Revival uh, at the Alliance Theater on Easter Sunday. I'm here with Miss Brawling Beauty, one of our stars. Hello, Miss Brawling. How do you, how do you like to refer to yourself casually? Casually, my friends just call me Rochelle. That's my muggle name. Um, I don't mind if people know it or not. Um, and in the burlesque world, and when they shorten it, uh, I have most people call me Brawling. <laughs> okay. Brawling. I don't know why they chose the Brawling instead of Beauty, but that's all good. <laughs> Well, I'll just answer, yes, it's me. Excellent. All right. Well, welcome to our cast. We consider it an honor to have you with us. Uh, I wonder if you could tell the viewers uh, a little something about your career, what what you've been up to, how, how people might know you. I started um, dancing in 1991. Um, I started off performing in a nude club. And then about three years later, when I turned 21, I moved up into the shaker clubs, you know, with the pasties and the D strings. And I was a house girl for a couple of years. And then I started being a feature performer where I started traveling around the West Coast and appearing in clubs. And I would do these great sets and um, take Polaroid pictures with the customers after the show. And um, it was a lot of fun. And then about 15 years ago, I transitioned into burlesque. I joined, um, at that time, Utah's only burlesque group, the Slippery Kittens Burlesque, and I performed with them for a few years. Um, after we did America's Got Talent, I decided to move on and create a troupe of my own um, that had more vaudeville and variety in it. And um, yeah, then we started a group called Vaudeville Avant-Garde with my co-producer, uh, Crystal Cahoon. And we did that for a while. And then um, we both created Candy Cabinet Cabaret, which was more of the straight burlesque type of show. Um, and I just kind of ran with that for, for many years. Um, and I retired Candy Cabinet when I moved to New Orleans. And I turned over all of my information sheets to the local producers in town and said run with it go have fun and fly <laughs> and uh and now you're in vegas yes now i'm in vegas i've been a, a solo performer for for many years now and i'm in the greatest city for burlesque um, as far as i'm concerned which is las vegas well uh, and you're going to be joining us in salt lake city in april yes uh, yes so i'm joining uh the bunny feet cast and I'm really excited that I was invited to come out. Um, the reason why I'm appearing in the show is because I have always, always been a big fan um, of supporting locals. And even though I live in Las Vegas, I will always consider myself to be a local Utah. And I will always help um, elevate, uplift everybody that I can um, in our local scene. And, um, I believe in this show, I, I'm really excited to work with the cast and um, to honestly, to, to give back the community that gave me so much. And the community is, is glad to have you back. And I've been hearing your name for years. So I'm actually uh, really excited to have you in one of my shows finally. What would you say to someone who's wondering if they should tune into the show or come to the show? I would say, yes, absolutely. Tune in, come to the show and I'll tell you why. You never know what you're going to see. <laughs> and that is the greatest thing on earth is to come into a show and never know what you're going to see the next act, whether you're going to see an aerialist or a singer or a magician, you know, a stilt walker, you don't know. And that's the greatest thing about this. And art can make you feel so many ways. It can make you feel happy and sad and angry and, and make you want to go out there and do something, you know, burlesque is is everything art, it's everything political, um, it's everything sexy. Um, honestly, it's, uh, it's the perfect way, perfect way to spend an evening with your friends and family, because you're gonna just experience a worldwide range of emotions, and you're also gonna see a wide range of um, talent as well.
I could not agree more. Uh, I, I've been very excited that the, the local talent has, has been sort of coalescing around the, the variety vaudeville uh, concept uh, and very proud to be part of it, uh, including over my shoulder, Gonza Rising, which is what I was known for pre-COVID, the very yes. uh, weirdo themed vaudeville. And some of the Gonzo folks are in this show. So any of the Gonzo Rising fans should definitely, definitely come to the show. Uh, tickets are already available online, uh, 30 for in-person, only 15 for live stream. That's cheaper than a cable bill. Um, we hope to see you there. There will be a link in the description that that comes with this video when, when it comes out. Thank you, Miss Brawling Beauty, Rochelle, and uh, we'll see you in person in a couple weeks. Yes, you will. I'm excited to be there. Bye, everyone. Bye.